Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, YouTube? Welcome. So, this is going to be my quiet about 800 all build or aggressive enabler. So, uh, currently, uh, I have been playing this build on the ranked. We have reached to the fourth uh, place. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Around 13 win streak with this world. Uh, so let's get into the clan first. Uh, let's go over the Lord Tree and then we are gonna go over the Bull Order and some games of it. So the Lord Tree of the old clan is different from any other clan. It uh, works in entirely different way. Instead of having the normal lores that you have with uh, Norcard clans, you have uh, this kind of lore, where you have a lord, lore tree or lore forest. So every next lore is gonna get expensive. It starts out with 60 in the middle ones. So if you use this one and then want to take the other one, they're both gonna be 60. If you go one higher, it's gonna be double that. And if you go one higher than that, that's gonna also be double that. And if you go higher, then it's gonna be 360, and then later 480, so plus 120 uh, each lore. And once you get the blessing, there's a button in the middle where you can summon a big dude, the chunky boy to help you. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, the lore tree for the whole clan. Uh, it usually depends, but uh, for our build, it's pretty simple. We start out with Iron Boot. This is gonna uh, collect ore in the zone for you, your clan. Uh, or for your ally clan, if you want to. Uh, not uh, usually recommended. It's uh, very hard to start out with uh, lore at the start. So you want to use it on iron. Iron Boot, place it on iron. Get iron, get out your cheat. But the next one is going to be Fatal Souls. Create the Fertile Land in Zone and boost the Specialized Production by 10%. Your clan collects natural resources in the zone. So the natural resources, the way it works, if it's a fish tile or a terra tile, you get uh, 1.5 food uh, for that. And if it's a forest or lore tile, you get also 1.5 lore for that. So the best tile would be uh, forest, fish, lore in one tile, you would get uh, plus 3 food and plus 3 lore. Uh, because the, once you place this thing down, it will give you fertile land, so it will make you a farmland. So you will be able to get plus 6 from one lore, which is quite insane. Uh, then we have healing herbs, heal all units in the zone outside of combat. If in another clan structure your clan gains 25 of their military experience, it's a very strong lore to be using on your clearing clan, but we usually just heal it, use it to heal. So the lore would be Ironwood into Fertile Soils, into actually a normal lore, colonization, and then into healing herbs. And that's about it. We only pick up the four starting lores that we have and then we don't uh, really do more about it All right so i will show how the healing herbs works you have to take the lore you have to now select neutral or your own tile or another tile where you can place it down and then it just passively is there if you don't uh, like the location of the branch then you can destroy the building if you destroy the building, you will lose the benefit and it will cost instead of 60 lore to place down, it will cost uh, 30 lore. It will be half of the value. Okay, so that's enough of the lore tree. Now let's get into the meat, the bull dollar. So. <clears throat> Uh, build order. 
uh, because lore is also structure then we have it in the build order we build iron boots to get our chief out get five iron to buy chief to help uh, the clear clan who we are enabling to clear faster we're just gonna take uh, pits for them run around kite pretty much we're just gonna tank for them then house so we can grow past six population uh, fertile soils so that we get uh, passive income and can get to colonization next story camp so that we actually can do something with the fire iron to get our cheap out then healer camp so we can buff the healing uh, with the healing herbs and the healer camp to heal our chief even faster i think it takes around one month to fully heal your chief which is very fast then more camps yeah healing herb another house to get uh, up to 16 population and then tower to reinforce down the location where we have colonized uh, because this uh, uh, build order means that uh, you are going to colonize towards enemy and even most likely next to them uh, so i would recommend to watch uh, game 3 game 3 is the best one in my opinion uh, how to play the clan if you have nothing to start out with if you have the literally worst start pretty much uh, you, you, I still did have lore, uh, but uh, yeah, you can have games without lore, then it's unplayable, pretty much. Anyway, uh, so let's get into the games in a second. Uh, I just want to point out about this Excel file is that uh, there is hint and tips. Oh, ranking. Yeah, there we go. So hint and nips in the bottom that you can click. And here is everything that you should keep in mind or is nice to know about this uh, tactic overall. <clears throat> Most of this I'm also gonna go over on the video. Uh, but if you miss anything, then you can see it here. But yeah, without the... Uh, Further ado, let's get into the games. So, uh, this will be game four. Game three, game two, and game one. Just give me a bit of time. This you don't need. Alright, let me mute this. And yeah. So. Uh, also. Uh, I think it's fine. The port game is not really that important. <clears throat> Anything else I wanna do? Yeah, just let's go. Let, uh, let's start the party up. So, we start out here uh, with uh, first converting two of our villagers into Nords. They are the scouts for the old clan. And we do that so that we save up uh, 20 food, just in case. If we have a free forest tile, then we can trade it, take it right away. Or if we have a free treasure tile, then we can take it right away. And that's the only reason. So as you can see, in game 4, we have a free forest tile, so we just take it right away. You don't usually want to colonize the lore, because you will have to use the lore. So if it's a forest and lore, or if it's a lore and treasure, you just have to take it. There is no way around it, as you can see in game one. 
the Nords that you make, the scouts, they don't cost you any upkeep at all. And you can only make three of them. So you can't make more, you can't make less. I mean, you can make less if you want, you can convert them back. I have only one scout. But uh, just having three from the very start is pretty good. The only reason why you would uh, want to have less than three at the start is if you want to save up pool to take uh, some needed tiles like uh, treasure tiles or if you want to save up food to feast for your clear camp. Uh, you usually don't want to feast early but with the owl there comes an exception. Owl and wolf both like early feast. And it's very beneficial for them if you can do it. Uh, for the wolf player, it means instead of getting their chief uh, three months before winter, you will be able to help them get chief four months before winter, saving one month uh, time that they can then use to clear. Uh, if you colonize another tile, Briz Lore, early on you do want to have an orb working there. Because the thing you wanted to do is that uh, you want to follow the pool daughter and you just want to get the three things. You want to get the iron boot, house and bird tile soils. After that you can take the second norm away from breaking from floor. And just uh, keep scouting tiles for either wolf to clear or the tiles where you are going to colonize to get uh, close to the enemy. Uh, we are going to be very aggressive, we are going for attrition and we just want to take good trades with our army against our opponent. <clears throat> so if you go with the iron boot start you will mine iron and you will be able to get your chief uh, 3 months before winter, you will have 5 iron. So it's uh, usually the timing of a normal wolf clan, if it's a good player playing, uh, where they get their chief out without having their iron blocked and putting a ship quite fast. So it's pretty much the perfect timing to get your chief out because your chief can actually do work. So I would recommend just going for the iron boot start. You can mix it up, try it uh, where it tell soils out, but usually it's not that great. And just because you would rather have the tempo, have the tiles cleared, colonize them and just be at, uh, at the pace of your enemy. If your enemy does not do the same thing that you are doing, then you are denying the enemy clear from clearing tiles for the allies, you are denying one of the clans from having economy because you're going to disrupt it and take their dice if they don't. So you are making them to convert to sustain army. That is pretty much the plan that we have. <clears throat> And then it just comes down to execution. So yeah, once you have your three basic uh, buildings down, including the lord there, then you want to get extra camp so you can get out your cheap. And also, if we have spare gold, you can make uh, one, two extras to help out the clear. Depending if you need food to colonize the dice or if you're going to be fine. Uh, if you're asking about the sheep for the clan, just forget that the sheep ever existed. They are not a part of the game. They are quite useless. Just if you get the sheep, send them to your allies. It's the best you can do. <clears throat> so, yeah, as you can see here uh, on this, it is like four months before winter already have chief out and helping to clear the clear clan and also clearing towards the enemy to be able to colonize and take the tiles 
Uh, for the scouting, you will be doing the scouting as the old clan. But to scout the enemy, you need to get 200 fame. So you want to make maybe one feast, maybe two feasts, depending how tight the fame is. Uh, you don't want to go for the middle, for the 50 fame in the middle. Uh, because usually you get enough fame from just taking the dice and taking the lores to get to 200. And going for the middle slows your tempo down quite a lot, so you just don't want to have that happen. There is no reason to just take the middle, it gives you nothing. Your 200 uh, fame is pretty much that you can scout the enemy and that you can use your branches on enemy tiles. That, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't think we want to heal our enemy, so... Yeah, not not gonna really use them there. <clears throat> uh, one thing to look out is that uh, when you get your colonization and you go for the healing herbs, uh, you place them down. Uh, make sure you don't place them next to enemy territory where they can just be colonized, because if you're branches on an enemy tile you can't destroy it so always try to put it on your tiles or next to the tiles that you're taking and uh, the best place to put putting the healing herbs is uh, on a tile that's safe and it is like uh, next to the tower so if you look at the uh, game four or i mean game two we are one month before the first winter we have our opponent scouted and we have a healing curb here on this tile. And the next tile we take, we're probably gonna put the tower there. Uh, so if we have to fall back, we fall back, heal up, and we just hit. It takes one month to decolonize the tile. So should be good to heal for one month and then go back into the action. And if you lose the tile, then just be ready to destroy the healing herb and relocate it back. One tile, so you can still keep using it. And yeah. I'm gonna keep using the game 2 as an example. Even though this is not your standard game, it's just that it uh, is the fastest currently. And yeah, usually you would like to have wolf as a care clan because you're gonna kill so many neutrals and the wolf clan benefits the most. So, uh, attacking. You want your chief to enter and you want to focus down the villagers and you want to focus down on the army, extras or anything else. You would rather want to ignore bears, shield maidens, uh, unless you are sure that you can nuke them down. If you can't nuke a chief down, just kill the other things. Once you are in a critical HP, like I have right here, uh, then you're just gonna fall back. Uh, I'm out of danger of anything else uh, other than the tower, so I'm just gonna stay in the dial to heal, or to take the hits a little bit longer, as long as I can. Then fall back, and yeah, just heal up. And go to the dial that is safe, tower is going up. So, yeah, it should be pretty safe. If the opponents uh, come into your dial attacking the tower, then that's the best thing you can hope for. <clears throat> Just because how the mechanics work. Alright, so in Kane Tree, where we had no treasure, we had only iron from the forest that was also closed by wolves we are in our opponent uh, the enemy wolf had the same spawn as i did so the enemy wolf has not been able to clear anything uh, it was not a mirror game so yeah you can see that uh, the countermeasures for this uh, tactic is uh, non-existent from our opponent. You can also see that the ox gun has two food buildings instead of having uh, G war camps to make army to push us out. Also has no tower. 
So it's only cheap and uh, villagers fighting. And yeah. You should just be committing. But yeah, you're taking a lot of. So take down the ship here first. And then just uh, make sure that your extra doesn't uh, get killed. I don't know what the villagers are doing. But yeah, just running back and forth. Uh, wolf can stay in. And since we have still a lot of boot, we just take the dial, we heal up, and we keep applying the pressure. <clears throat> uh, so in the game 2, we were pushed back because the bear had hibernation. So we're waiting for the winter event uh, before we're just gonna go in again. Uh, game 1, we're also near the opponent like yeah so you would already have action before the first winter ends or when the winter starts you're gonna have some action some interaction with your opponents so this here is a very good example of what you should not be doing uh, you're attacking your chief is taking damage is it the chief taking damage? No, it's the ship bearer. But yeah, the ship bearer goes down. Now the chief takes damage of the wood chief. But since the tower is so far, then sadly the wolf has overextended. And yeah, like it's a long it's a long way back. So if you lose your wolf chief or your opponent loses wolf chief, it's pretty much GG because uh, it's very hard to get the chief back and the chief hits quite strong. Uh, there is no reason to overcommit. You can take your time. Yeah, the game two already ended. Uh, but. Coming back to here, yeah, opponents are preparing a little bit. They are going for the extra rules, so just micro them away so they try to lose as few as you can. Uh, with your chief, try to keep the other extra rules, the same extra rules if you can. And then, yeah, just micro them back and forth. Uh, your chief is going uh, Skald, the youngest chief of the old clan with a lot of uh, armor so she can take hits and she can also deliver hits and yeah what I talked about the extending you will see here in a second and so enemy has low HP dragon kin it makes sense to just uh, go in a little bit and take them down <coughs> I mean, the game is pretty much over, but uh, as you can see now, I'm just going to fall back with my chief and I'm not going to push forward. I'm just going to take my time, fall back and heal up. Like, you don't need to overextend. You can take your time, just secure the victory and that's it. Oh, yeah, another game over. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean that is how the gameplay of this uh, build order looks like. I uh, hope you liked the video and thanks for hanging out. Take care, good luck and bye bye. Enjoy the old land.